Hey everybody, Diane Haggerty again. Okay, today, uh, today is March 24th. I have some good news for everybody that I didn't expect. So, uh, I know nothing's passed in Congress yet. There's no magic checks coming in the mail. They'll probably vote on that today. I don't even want to talk about that. It just gets everybody upset politically. So let's all just take a deep breath and let everybody do their job in Washington. Now, what did the IRS do? That's the good news. I said I was going to update you on some good stuff from the IRS. Two things. One, if you make estimated payments, you know who you are. If you're wondering if you make estimated payments, you probably don't. It's with the coupons. They're doing April and June and September every year. you got to pay with the coupons. Okay. If you are an estimated taxpayer with coupons, your April coupon due April 15th is not due until July 15th. I haven't really gotten a whole lot of clarity about the June 15th one. Is that also due July 15th? I don't know. Um, we'll wait for further uh, guidance on that from the IRS, but I really don't know. Okay, second thing. Uh, a couple videos ago, I need you to look back for the one that says uh, employers, where I tell you you are required to pay sick pay. And I also say you're not going to get reimbursed till July. Well, guess what? The IRS fixed what Congress doesn't have the authority to do. The IRS fixed it. They are going to have, I'm just going to look at my notes and make sure I get this right, a streamlined, expedited form for accelerated payment. They are saying that you can get reimbursed for paying sick leave or FMLA in two weeks, uh, roughly. Now, that form is not available yet. The instructions are not available yet. I don't know, but I'm telling you, it's out there. So remember, if you are an employer, no matter if you have one employee, you are required to pay uh, two weeks of sick leave for people to take off for themselves. And after that, you are required to pay 10 weeks of FMLA for anybody that can't come to work because their kids are out of school or they have to take care of their parents or there's somebody in their house that you need to take care of. There's rules on that. I'm going to eventually write a blog post on this. I'm just trying to update everybody as fast as I can. So once you are, you are required to pay that now, if you cannot afford the swing, the 10 weeks of whatever, and get you know reimbursed, if you have less than 50 employees, there is exceptions. Uh, they're also being a little lenient on enforcement, but pay your employees, you will get the money back. You will not have to pay payroll taxes on it. They did clear all that up um, yesterday. Um, also, self-employed. If you are self-employed and missing work, and I have so many people saying, Diane, my clients all canceled, my hairdressers, my musicians, my photographers, you're losing all your work. And guess what? This applies to you too. You will also be able to use the, uh, let me check what it is, streamlined expedited form for accelerated payment through the IRS and pay yourself sick pay and get reimbursed for it. Even though you're not on payroll, even though you're not doing any of that, so like I said, my last video, the one that says self-employed, rewatch that one. Uh, and you can absolutely get some uh, reimbursement and some money and some relief. Uh, it's based on whatever you made last year divided by 260. So hopefully you showed a profit. I'm really thinking all these people, it's like, no, I don't want to put people on payroll. And now you kind of wish you did. And, oh, I don't want to put myself on payroll. And you wish you did. And... Oh, I don't want to show a profit because I don't want to pay any taxes. And now it's going to be based on your profit. So there's always a plus and a minus. And I tell everybody this, it's a juggling act. Do you want to pay taxes? Do you want to show a profit? Like, it's a balancing act. And I know this is really hard for a lot of people that, you know, oh, I lost tons of money last year. Well, then you won't be able to collect um, the FMLA and the sick pay on yourself if you showed zero profit last year. And I'm sorry. Uh, we can't always foresee these things. So anyway, what else is going on? Uh, next one, uh, Department of Finance and Administration of the state of Arkansas. This is Arkansas only. The governor yesterday in a press conference said he was going to extend the tax deadline for the state of Arkansas to July 15th. Um, and it's going to reflect everything. So you don't need to file an extension, whatever, but that's only income tax. That is not payroll taxes and that is not sales tax. So you still need to pay that stuff on time. Uh, you gotta make a payroll tax payment by the 15th of April. You gotta make your sales tax payment by the 15th or the 20th of April. It's uh, just the way it works. Finally, Arkansas unemployment. Again, also only Arkansas. Uh, the website is up, the website is working. Um, 
I'm going to put the phone number down here below. You got to push the down button below the title and it'll give you the description. Uh, the phone number and the website to apply for Arkansas unemployment is there. It is a new phone number. Uh, they're just going to transfer it to the hotline if you call. So just call the hotline in the picture and the website is there if you can apply online. Uh, that would be the fastest way to do it. I have had two people get through and get applied for unemployment today. Um, remember when you are filling it out that you need to be available for work uh, and able to work. If you say that you're not, then you won't be getting unemployment. And also uh, remember to withhold federal income tax. Uh, that's an option. You don't have to. And most people are like, no, I need my money now. Well, guess what? You're not going to get your money in April when you owe if you collect unemployment for six months uh, and you don't have a job in this last longer than we thought. It's still taxable income uh, at this point. So I would have federal income tax withheld. Absolutely. Uh, that's what I tell everybody when they win at the casino. You didn't have the money five minutes ago. You're not going to miss it. So just have the federal income tax withheld. You'll make it. Um, I know it's tough times for everybody, but it's going to be tougher next spring when you got to uh, fork over money for income tax. Uh, anyway, that's it for today. Diane Haggerty, Grassroots Taxes. Uh, I got your back.